Let's talk about the sequence of events that happens in the well manager panel here. This timer is set up to run the well pump for a specific amount of time so it doesn't withdraw too much water from the well. And the way this functions is the timer says, OK, let's start the well pump. And it does that. It gives the system five seconds to determine if water is coming from the well. If water is coming from the well, it allows the well pump to run for the rest of the, of the time set into this timer. If water is not coming from the well, it turns it off immediately. That ends that collection cycle, and it will try again the next time uh, the timer comes around. This timer has a uh, two times set up on it. It's got an off time, and it's got an on time. The on time is the amount of time that the pump will run when it comes on, and the off time is the interval until the next pump run. So if this was going to run for one minute an hour, you would have one minute of on time, 59 minutes of off time. This is the delay timer. This is what determines uh, whether or not the cycle will keep going. If the system senses flow from the well in the amount of time set on this timer, then it will allow the pump to keep going. If not, it turns it off immediately. These lights on the well manager panel face tell you what's going on at any, uh, at any time. And it also allows troubleshooting at long distance. For instance, if you were having a problem with your well manager and you called me up and I would say, tell me what lights are lit on the door. This light is always on when you have power from the breaker box to this control panel for the well pump. This one is always on when you have power here to operate the control panel. So these two should really always be on. When a time cycle has been initiated by the timer, that light will come on. If flow from the well starts, this light will come on. So in a situation where the timer is running, the well pump, and everything is working fine, this one, this one, this one, and the flow from the well light would all be lit. And it would stay that way until the end of that cycle, in which case the flow from well light goes out, the timer light goes out, and it just goes back to waiting now. So every time it comes around, the timer light will come on. Immediately after that, the flow from well light will come on. Eventually, when the tank fills up, the tank full light will come on. And when you're using water in the house and you bring the pressure pump inside the well manager on, this light will come on. If you run the well manager tank empty, the low water light will come on and it will shut off the pressure pump. No more water will come to the house. This system has a feature in it that's called an overfill shutoff. If this tank uh, tries to overflow, that overfill shutoff will turn off everything and you will get an indication on the door of tank full and low water, both at the same time, obviously impossible to be full and empty at the same time. And this tells you that the tank attempted to overflow. At that point, it shuts everything off. The well pumps shut off. The house pumps shut off so that it will draw you down to see what the problem is. And there is a uh, function in this so that you can restart the system without uh, needing service. But that's what, that, that's what that will tell you. So this has a lot of features, but basically the lights on the door would tell an experienced person, even over the phone, what the condition of the system is. So you could stand in front of this, tell somebody what's going on, and they could figure out what's wrong with it um, without even being there.